Hey guys, in this video you're going to learn how to increase your sales in your business. And we've roped in our friend Gavin Bell who is a complete pro at generating leads online and building awesome sales funnels to power your sales pipeline. But don't worry, you're not going to miss us. We've challenged Gavin to be more Andrew and Pete than Andrew and Pete. So Gavin, take it away. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for having me here. We all want to make more sales as business owners. How do we do it? Well, there's 101 different ways that we could make more sales and I have whittled it down to five. Five ways to increase your sales and we're going to talk all about them in this video. You know, I was challenged to try and be as much like Andrew and Pete as I possibly could in this video and I thought, well, why don't I try and dress up as them? This was my Pete. We are never, ever, ever Getting back together, we eat. This was my Andrew. Yari pet. But you know what? I just don't think I cut it. And so you guys are getting me. In true Andrew and Pete style, I'm going to try and be 90% Andrew and Pete or 10% me. Or maybe the other way around. I'm not really sure what's going to be right. Maybe it'll be 90% Andrew and Pete, maybe 10% maybe me, maybe 10% me, maybe 90% Andrew and Pete. Don't know what's better. Why don't you drop a comment and let us know what's better? Let's do this. Tip number one for increasing sales in your business is simply to reach out to people that are already in your network and ask how they are. As a business owner, as a brand, you've probably connected with thousands of people over the years of running your business. But how often do you keep in touch with those people? It's so easy to make a connection and to have a conversation there and then, but then to forget about that connection. But that person is somebody that could potentially work with you. Maybe not at the time that you met with them, but a couple of years later, they could be the perfect customer for you. And so my tip number one is simply to reach out to the people in your network and ask them how they are. Reconnect with them and see whether or not it's a right time for them to work with you. You know, recently during lockdown, actually, we decided to create a spreadsheet of all the people that we've worked with. That might be people that have booked in consultation calls with us. That might be people that have inquired on the website. And we thought, We've never actually reconnected with these people from years ago. I wonder how they are. And we reached out to every single person manually and, and wrote them an email that said something along the lines of, hey, how's it going? It's been so long since we last spoke. When we last spoke, if I can remember, you had these different problems. How are things now? Would you be up for getting on a call to see how we can help? And guess what happened? We were able to add an additional 6,000 monthly recurring revenue to the business by simply doing that. The money is right there. All you need to do is go out Find people that are already warm prospects that already know who you are and ask if the time is right. Why is there a frying pan? <laughs> Tip number two is to start creating and distributing a weekly or regular show. Just like this YouTube channel, Andrew and Pete create regular videos on this channel. And I want you to do the exact same because it does two things. Is it establishes you as an authority in your space. We all pay attention to the media, right? If you are somebody that is controlling the media in your industry, then that positions you as an authority. It starts to build your audience. And not just that, but you can also go and interview your dream customers. Bring your dream customers onto your show, whether you do a YouTube channel, a podcast, a blog, bring your dream customers onto the show, interview them, and that will allow you to have an easy conversation with a dream customer because you've probably tried it in the past reaching out to people and saying hey i'd love to meet you for a coffee guess what it doesn't work anymore the new coffee is do you want to come on my show my podcast everyone will say yes because they want to get in front of your audience but it allows you to have that easy conversation so start blogging start youtubing start creating a podcast and distribute that out to your dream customers to start establishing you as an authority and then start interviewing your dream customers on the show to allow you to have those easy conversations that can then lead into a sales conversation down the line. Tip number three is to build an email list. Now, Rob and Kennedy, the email marketing heroes, were on this show not that long ago, and those guys told you everything that you need to know about building an email list and making more money from emails. I'm going to advise that you go and listen to them. But for me, an email list is your most valuable asset as a business owner. Let me repeat that again. Your email list is your most important asset. You know, you're probably building social media followings on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all the different platforms. And that's amazing. And you should be doing that. But the number one goal should be taking people from those platforms and getting them onto your list. Because on those platforms, you don't own the asset. 
the platform owns the asset. And you know, if Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn shut you down for whatever reason, which has happened to many of my friends, you lose that asset. So your goal is to get people from those channels onto an email list, which is an asset that you own because it means you can market to those people continuously, keep going and going anytime you bring out a new offer. You can send it to the list anytime you want survey and data. You can send it to the list and you will get a response. Tip number four is to start making more offers. There is a very, very strong chance that you are not making enough offers in your business. Now, when I say that, I don't mean going on social media and posting and telling people to buy your product and service and telling people how amazing you are. What I mean is you're probably, if you are like 99% of the people that I see, you're in this habit of providing value on social media. You're creating content and you're producing content that's great, like the podcast that I spoke about or the YouTube channel or the blog that I spoke about. And you're probably doing that and that's amazing. But what we need to do is start to intertwine making offers into that. It's simple maths. If you make one offer a year versus one offer a day, how much money do you think you're going to make if you make an offer a day versus an offer a year? Make more offers. Every conversation you have, can you make that person an offer? Not necessarily buy your stuff, but an offer of some sort. You know, Gary V has his jab, 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 right hook methodology, framework, whatever you want to call it. And that's all about producing value, creating value, providing value, 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 and then right hook and making an ask. And I think that a lot of people that have taken that idea, that methodology and implement it in their business, they do the value side of things really, really well. They provide value, they provide value, they provide value, but they don't make the ask well enough. And if you don't do the ask, there's no point in providing the value. So if you are a business owner that's providing value, I want you to make more offers. By simply making more offers in your business, you will make more money. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit subscribe and hit that thumbs up button because, well, that technically is an offer, right? I'm asking you to take an action. So go hit subscribe and that gives me another tick on being like Andrew and Pete. Tip number five is create a funnel and start using paid advertising to drive people into that funnel. Here's the thing, folks. The reality is most of us as business owners are relying on luck to grow our business. We're relying on things like networking events, referrals, word of mouth, randomly posting on social media, and we do not have a system that brings people into our business predictably and consistently. We need as entrepreneurs, as business owners, predictable leads coming into the business because that means predictable sales, predictable cash flow, and that allows us to then delegate and scale. Without those predictable leads, we cannot scale and we're not going to get predictable leads by relying on luck. We're only going to get predictable leads by having a funnel and a paid advertising system that is bringing people in predictably. If you'd like to learn how to create a funnel and a paid advertising system, then guess what? You are in luck. I'm going to be running a full day session. Well, it's three sessions, but it's a full day on how to build a funnel. So we're going to talk you through how to create a profitable marketing funnel, how to run ads to that funnel in one day. And it's going to be for Atomic members, folks. So if you want to join this, better get in on the action. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Tuesday, the 24th of November, 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. If you want to learn how to create a predictable way of generating leads and customers and sales and money in your business, you need to be there. Go ahead and try some of these. Drop a comment. Let us know how you get on. Back to you, Andrew and Pete. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gavin, guys. Didn't Gavin do awesome? Did he make a better Andrew and Pete than us? Well, I will let the lovely people watching this decide in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what was your favorite Andrew and Pete ism in the comments. Remember, if you want to get more sales and you want to learn even more from Gavin, then we invite you to join our Plan Your Perfect Sales Funnel in a day guided workshop with Gavin Bell so that at the end of the day, you can have decided once and for all, no overwhelm, no indecision. You're going to know all of the tech. You're going to have all of the steps sorted out. You're going to have all the emails that you need in there ready. And you're even going to learn how to do the ads to your now highly converting funnel. If that sounds good, please do check out that link in the description. And whilst you're down there, please do subscribe. Please do drop a comment or a like on this video or even share it if you're feeling really, really generous today. I feel like Gavin deserves a share, doesn't he? Does. Gavin deserves Both a share. share. <laughs> Both and share. Both and Gavin. I've been Andrew. I've been Pete. And he's been Gavin. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.